Okay. Ah! <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ellie and welcome to my channel. Today, I wanted to have a little car chat with y'all because number one, the lighting's always better out in my car. Number two, I have... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get through this video because I can't take myself seriously. I have a big announcement I guess I don't know it's like this secret project this surprise thing I've been working on I've kind of I don't want to say I've been hyping it up because I haven't been super hyping it up just a little bit I think it's mostly just been kind of like oh I have a secret <laughs> anyway I wanted to just film a little life update and tell you what the heck is going on what this secret project is you're gonna die it's so weird I have no idea what I'm gonna title this video I'm like oh this is so weird okay so um um <laughs> I can't even talk <laughs> okay this is gonna be kind of a story time video but I don't really I'm not gonna label it as a story time because I'm terrible at telling stories but this is just the secret project I've been working on how the heck I got into it because I really didn't mean to and just what I'm gonna be doing for the summertime. I am going to be a bachelorette on this show called Provo's Most Eligible. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe this is real. If you haven't heard of Provo's Most Eligible, they've done one season. It's the Provo version of The Bachelor because Provo's kind of a weird place and dating there is just a weird experience. I've heard, I don't know, I don't even live in Provo. <laughs> But anyway, last season they did, it was bachelor style, so they had one guy and 20 something girls. And this season they're making it a little different and there's gonna be three bachelorettes and 30 guys. And before you get all skeptical of why the heck I would go on a dating show at the ripe old age of 18, let me just fill you in on how this happened. So, I watched the last season. I thought it was hilarious because it's awkward, it's cringy, it's just weird. And while I was watching it, I just kept thinking, I wanna be on the crew. This would just be such a funny, random, weird thing, you know, to be a part of. So I just kept thinking, I should reach out to them and like tell them I wanna help them film or I could help them design stuff or whatever. Anyway, so I just kept thinking how weird and funny it would be on, to be on the crew. And then one day on Instagram, they posted and said that they had applications up on their website. If you wanted to be a part of their crew, you can go apply. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's my dream come true. How perfect. So I go over to the website and I just fill out a little application and I forget about it. And then probably a month goes by and I get an email the day before Easter and it said, congratulations, you've been chosen to come for an interview, whatever. So that was the interview that I went to. If you watched my other vlogs and I said, I'm going to an interview, it's not for a job. And I said, I guarantee that none of you will be able to guess what it's for. And one of you guessed it, I don't remember who, but you know who you are sneaky 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 anyway so I go in for my crew interview and I basically just walk in and there was I think six people in there interviewing me so I'm sitting there and they ask me a couple questions like why did you apply what do you do whatever so I'm like oh I'm Ellie and I do digital media design and I make videos whatever whatever and probably two minutes into the interview after they'd asked me a few questions one of the girls just looks me dead on and says would you consider being one of the bachelorettes? <laughs> I was totally in shock. I was not expecting that at all. And so I'm just sitting there kind of laughing because I was like, what the heck is going on? And then immediately when she said that, everybody else started saying things like, yeah, I know, that's what I was thinking. And I'm just sitting there thinking, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and um, I never pass up an opportunity. So basically I ended up saying, sure. <laughs> I walked into that room for a crew interview and I walked out as a bachelorette. It's so weird. This is so weird. Why? This is seriously the weirdest thing ever to happen to me. Ever. And then after that, I'm thinking through to my mind. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, whatever. I'm totally, I'm going into it just because I know it's going to be so much fun because the crew is so much fun. I met the other bachelorettes and they're super fun. I haven't met any of the bachelors yet. Hopefully they're fun. But yeah, so I just think it's going to be a weird random thing that, you know, nobody does and I don't pass up an opportunity. So why wouldn't I do it? But then after that first interview, I got another email back saying, 
come for round two interviews, whatever. And I was like, what the heck? I had to go to another interview. And so I'm thinking I'm going to have to fight for my spot on the show. And I wasn't even trying to get on it. And when I set my mind on something, I want that thing and I just go after it full force and so once they asked me if I wanted to be a bachelorette and I decided to just go for it I I like had it in my head that I was gonna be on the show whatever so I got worried about you know not making it but at the same time if I didn't make it you know there was no loss so I go back for my round two interview and I walk in so I walk in I'm sitting there and they said so basically you made it <laughs> and I was like what what is happening? So they were just going on about how they really wanted me on the show and whatever and I was just kind of like blown away because I'm like why did these people want me so bad? So yeah that's how I became a bachelorette on Provo's Most Eligible season two. <laughs> This is a joke. This can't be real. As far as filming goes and when the episodes are going to air and everything, we're going to be filming all through June and then the first two weeks of July, they said. And then the first episode doesn't air till September. So you guys will have quite a wait. You should follow the Provo's Most Eligible Instagram because there's going to be lots of updates on there and probably some behind the scenes sneak peek stuff. So it's going to be such an interesting adventure but I'm actually genuinely excited just because I think it's gonna be fun and this totally is not what I was expecting to do this <laughs> summer I wasn't expecting to be on this show but change can be good and so I think it's gonna be fun this is just such a weird thing and I totally didn't intend for it to happen this story is 100% true but yeah it's gonna be good and it's gonna be fun and it's totally crazy Wow! I never in a million years. Oh, this is so weird. Yeah, follow the Provo's Most Eligible Instagram for updates. Follow me on Instagram for updates. It's gonna be a wild ride, my friends, and I hope you stick around for it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.